hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a quick weave i've already prepped my hair uh let me show you guys what i use all right so i use this robert diamonds bold protective shield kind of like that morning glory stuff or liquid cap or whatever but first i sprayed on a yellow can of gossipy glue hairspray and then i applied this blow dried it as you can see it's all nice and dry i cut my cap because i am going to leave a little part out and yeah let's get started because your girl is overdue overdue for hairdo okay and y'all get to see first look me doing a quick weave it's been a long time okay but we're gonna slay this so for this style i'll be using this 10 inch deep wave um virgin hair and i really don't remember who it's from i'll put the link down below when i find it or maybe i did i think i did a video on this you guys when i bought some hair and books but yeah i had three left so i'll be using it for my hair today this is deep wave 10 inch oops so i'm just taking it out of all the packaging this hair is gonna look real nice in my hair and i got some new products that i want to try baby we finna hook this up okay okay <laughs> yeah let me get this little black thing off should i say this or yeah i'll just toss it because i don't know what the heck i'll use it for but this is a hair looks so pretty y'all it's real nice and soft it got some nice good shine to it and it's like a a 1b like an off black natural looking color and let me start bonding these tricks in. We'll be using Salon Pro 30 Second Glue today. And I do want to point out that this hair is really, really thick, wefted for one bundle. Like, y'all, this is pretty much a lot of hair. So I'm not sure if I'll even have to use all three of these. I'm going to try. Fingers crossed. So I'm taking the hair out and I just want to see like how long it's going to be. Because I am going to cut it into about so I think I want to start at that just start at the back try to get them as close as I can together because we got a lot of hair y'all mm -hmm. try to hurry up because my phone is saying I only got 37 minutes of recording time you know your girl I'm going to keep it real at all times and speaking of real i got a real video of a real life situation that i had to go through and my video is going to be to warn others to warn others that like when you see signs like this just go ahead and get about this situation you do not want to stay there where you're you're being loyal to somebody and they're not being loyal back okay and just so you know, I'm talking about a job, my working situation. And you guys will find out in the next video why I no longer do security. So make sure that if you're listening to this part right now, go ahead and like and subscribe this video so that you can get the notification on why I no longer work at this security company anymore. You guys, you're going to be shocked. You're going to be shocked that I even stayed as long as I did. So this is track number one like i said i really don't have that much time so i'm gonna go ahead and try to speed it up so that i can complete this style and show y'all the finished look i'm pretty sure you guys know how to lay tracks so i'm gonna go ahead and lay two more tracks and then i'll come back when i'm toward the top and i hate cutting um cutting good hair like this but like i said i'm gonna cut this hair into a ball so most likely it won't get worn after i take this out just gonna go in the trash or maybe i can use it to make a short style who knows but i believe it's gonna go in the trash because so i don't want to be bothered with all this old hair laying around so all my checks on the flow. And like I said, I'm going to do these checks pretty close because I do have a lot and I want to try to squeeze it all in. I want this hairstyle thick and full. I do not want it to be 
all thin and frail because I will be putting products on it. I want that wet look. Y'all know I'm leaving out some stuff and I ain't got that many edges, but uh, we gonna work with that. I have edges, but they thin. We already know it. So, <laughs> you're gonna get curt. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. My hair look big. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Just wanna press the end. I hate like when I comb the tracks and they bond it and one just like pop loose pop up off the gap it's not a good look so and like the back i'm just going from side to side until i get up to the front and then i'll start doing them another way okay y'all so i'm almost like halfway through i'm just gonna do a little squirrel reverse <laughs> so now I'm going to start putting the tracks together evenly going to the back you know I don't know how to explain it but let me see well maybe I'll just do one more and then I'm going to start putting them to the back so that I can have more um, hair on this side more volume because like this is where I want most of it to fall I'm going to put a part and you know put my real hair that I look out back that's the best way i can describe it y'all i told you it been a while so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and do one more close from here to here i like to cut that whip and then grab that little part and put it in the trash Let's start on this side. And then I'm here. I'm just gonna push it in hard because like I told y'all I do not like loose tracks. As you can see I use a brown stocking cap the color I almost color my skin and these are caps that I like to use when I use like lace to me it just blends better but you can use what you want yeah. so this is the side I looking pretty good this is the last piece from the first bundle of hair I told you guys, their hair lasted a long way, a long way. So I'm just gonna, and I'm gonna open the next bundle and put some more this way, cause like I want it to be even. If that makes sense. See, it's kind of like this side is going up. I want it to go like that. So. I'm going to put like three more tracks close to this one. Then I'm going to start going tracks going this way. Yeah. This is by number two. I told y'all, I don't think we're going to fit all three. I really don't. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to have to put this first track a different way. Then I'll put the other ones. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to get the look that I want. So, I'm going to start here to here and it's gonna hang up look a little crazy i gotta cut it and stuff like that but yeah i'm gonna glue all these tracks of the space that you see left just like this okay Oops, I had gas. <laughs> Everybody has it. No judge. I ate cheese. So, going these close together too. 
Because I really, really want it full. I want it big. I mean, of course, it's going to, like, go down in size when I start putting products on it. But I do want it big looking for the most part. Then we're going to use the clippers to bob the back of it. I wonder why this hair has a filler in it. Or, yeah, see? See that little reddish color? I have to cut that out. It's like rubber band, rubber band like. Let's see if you. Come on, take my hair. Might have to go get another um big one. Because that's the small one. Actually I got a big one somewhere. I'm just on the visit. Hmm. Wait till y'all see these curly products that I want to try. I have a feeling they don't work real real good. I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited to use it. And by the way, I had got it on sale at Walgreens. I did an online um an online order and got it delivered to my car curbside and y'all curbside don't sleep on it like you ain't even gotta get out your car you text them i'm here boom they gonna bring your stuff of course you gotta pay for it online and uh, i did that for chilies as well and make a, a poor person feel rich that's for one <laughs> and that's for two if you lazy you ain't gotta worry because they gonna bring you your stuff just check your little bag make sure it's all right if it's not all right when you click that you was here outside the store, normally they send you a text message and an email with the store that you order's number. Or you could just Google it and let them know, hey, something missing on my bag. But um, I did order from you guys and y'all just brought my stuff and something missing on my bag. Just return it, get your money back, and uh, don't even worry about it. But I haven't had that problem. The only thing was I ordered like a couple pack of pads, a couple packs of pads. Was that a tongue twister? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I ordered a couple packs of pads and baby. I ended up getting a big old thing of pads. I was like, forget them um, little packs. I'll, I'll take a big one. Because it um, seemed like it was more to me anyway. So, what I don't want is it looking really, well, too big in this area. So, uh, I'm going to do like two more tracks and then I'm going to start back doing a circle what are you because it ain't even a complete circle just bear with me y'all i told you i'm a little rusty but i promise it's worth watching and if you made it this far and you still not subscribed to your girl go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm telling you i got more to come i got a little bit i got more time on my hands until i find another second job one that's gonna be loyal and treat me right instead of making all these different changes every day i mean i adjusted to all the changes that i could but when you go to work and you don't you feel like you don't know what's gonna happen it's just it's time to do this i can't wait to let y'all know the details of that on my video y'all see me i kept y'all informed while i was on the job i was making videos i even brought my kids um to work with me just was a lot that I had to end there doing that job for my kids to work because I didn't want to call in for not having a babysitter. The time I did try to call in was when it was a winter storm and I was told that everybody was at work when they weren't. They were not at work. Even when the news said don't get on the roads, the roads are icy. I was made to get on the roads. They were icy while my kids didn't have power at home it wasn't power nowhere at their job when i did arrive there so it was just like a jackless situation but the boss was so greedy like he didn't care who came to work he just wanted to make sure he was paid but yeah y'all that's just a little snippet 
when you get somebody that really don't give a care, just go ahead and leave. I know you probably need your money like I did. That's the reason why I stayed so long. I needed my money. I mean, it was weekly, all of this stuff. I had plans and had goals, which was the reason why I took that job, but God has another plan. And I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting to see what else is in store for me. Tough times don't last forever, y'all. Keep the hope alive. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. This is the last trick and the last of the second bundle. I told you guys I was going to try to squeeze them, but I, it's no way. I can squeeze them. These bundles was too thick and too full, which is A+, plus, which is good. Trust me. Like, I ain't want to open the other one anyway. I'll save that for another sale. But, yes, let me go ahead and flip this. I'm going to try to get this as close to the cap that I can. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Y'all see that? But, let's see. <laughs> I really, really, I know I left the leaf out to cover these tracks, but I also wanted a side part, wanted a more natural look. So I'll see how it looks when I unbraid my leave out. I have a barrel curler, but I'm not sure if that'll be best to use for this. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are definitely gonna push for time. This video only has 37 minutes, 39 seconds to be recorded. And we already used 24 minutes, 29 seconds. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and undo my leave out. Okay, I got a little bit to me. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. And all I'm going to do is part leave out down the middle and I'm gonna use this tiny flat iron as close as I can get it to my roots and go ahead and oh, that was a little bit too close so yeah I'm gonna straighten it out as much as I can like so I'm gonna do the other side And I'll be back when this heats up. It's only gonna take a second. And I'll start blending it in after. Oh, I'm about to break my shit. I think I did. I hope not. I'm about to cry. Ooh, it's cracked, y'all. I'm gonna put some tape on this shit and keep kicking. Okay? I'll be back when this heats up. Taped up, baby. Because I need this. And I'm moving so fast, I damn near broke my sh Well, I did break my sheet. And then I had to put some tape on it. Oh, well. Still works. I'm going to put that on 400. And it's heating up. When it heats up, I'll be right back. So, I'm going to need this to hold. So, I just wait with the dust to be. And let me take this little kickstand thing off of here. <laughs> All right, as you can see, it made me a little cramp, and that's good enough for me. Let's do the other side. Okay, really gonna see. About to see the spray on my hair. 
I love your hair this season. Trying to help it a little slant. Hey, this one looks a little scraggly. Let me try to. This one. Let me just hold it here for a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's still look right here. Okay. Another attempt. This time, we're just going to do a little bump. <laughs> a little bump. This side don't want to act right. It ain't got no spray on it. That's, that's the problem. Okay. All right, that's as good as it's going to be, okay? So, I'll try to blend that in right here. Okay. Now, this part right here, I'm going to try to comb me out a piece or two of edges. I told you I ain't nothing in Don't Don't judge me. I'm going to use a little bit of this edge effect and it is the keratin oil tea tree oil jojoba oil and it's the let's see 5 plus for extreme hold I'm going to try to get this a little edge is going on wait a minute Over here. Now I want to brush my little edges out. The ones that I do have. So yeah. And I'm like me, not rinsing from the back and scoop it to the front. Ain't that a shame? Oh well, girls gotta do what girls gotta do. See? Cute. So now that I got a couple edges, maybe I should scoop this a little bit. Yeah, Love it. You know what, bitch? Just cook the whole little thing. Alrighty. Okay, so. Now 
I just brush it with a regular brush. And now I'm gonna just fluff it out a little bit. I'm about to hook up these and I'm gonna cut it then we're gonna put the products on there and then you guys will see the finished look okay okay guys so now I'm about to just go in and cut it before we was interrupted by my son I was saying I'm gonna go ahead and cut with these Waltz designer clippers. Now, it probably would have been easier to use scissors but I love the way that clippers cut. Yeah, I like this little long, longer piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use these products. So, my favorite product is one that I'm running out of. That's this Cream of Nature Coconut Milk. It's uh, actually for natural hair, which this is. I mean, they cut it off somebody and made it for me. <laughs> Curl quenching foaming mousse, okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it through. Yeah, I don't think y'all can see. Hold on, let me fix this for y'all. See. All right, I think that's a better view. I don't think y'all can see like how amazing this product is. Look, those curls are popping, y'all. They're popping. I might have to clip this side a little bit more. Now. 
and all right and this is the last one curl shaper define defining spray gel by Garnier Fructis see that curl and I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it in it's like a spray gel Should I trim it or what? The front of it. just a little bit more But yes, y'all, thanks for watching. This is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try to style for yourself. And yes, yeah, I use those curl products. And now these curls are popping. And I am in love. So. Y'all will be seeing this hairstyle for a while. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.